Hi third grade, Miss Slocum here. Today we're going to be learning about a new artist. Here is a self-portrait by that artist and one of his famous paintings. His name was Claude Monet, and he's what's known as an impressionist artist. Now, I know last week I had you draw a picture of your dream garden. Claude Monet actually had his dream garden, and he spent most of his life there, but we'll talk a little bit about that later. Here is another painting by Claude Monet. What does it look like? This painting should look like a bunch of lily pads and water lilies sitting on a lake, but let's take a closer look. This is an up-close picture of that same painting. Now, what does this look like? Many of you might think, wow, this just looks like a bunch of paint splatters or paint splotches. And that is one of the things that Impressionists did. They would paint with very loose brush strokes that wouldn't really look like much up close, but from a distance, they would make a very beautiful picture. Now let's talk about Claude Monet's garden. This garden was named Giverny, and he spent most of his life there. He even passed away in his garden. Now his garden was very, very big and had lots of flowers and leaves and lakes, and it even had a couple bridges. This is one of his most famous bridges called the Japanese Bridge. Claude Monet took his garden so seriously that he would even have the people who were there working for him dust the top of his lake so the water reflections would be perfect. Now, one of Claude Monet's most famous series of paintings is water lilies. He was very well known for painting water lilies. And water lilies. And water lilies. And water lilies and water lilies. And water lilies 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 and water lilies, water lilies, water lilies, water lilies. He painted hundreds and hundreds of water lily paintings. He would paint them in the daytime. He would paint them in the evening. He would paint them when the sun was setting, when the sun was rising, in the middle of the day. And he would paint water lilies all day long. And some of his water lily paintings weren't so small either. Like the picture here. This water lily painting was huge. And if you look right up here, this is an old photograph of Claude Monet in front of this painting. Here is a picture of me next to one of Claude Monet's original paintings. This is at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. In this painting, you'll see his Japanese bridge with some water lilies, of course, underneath. Here are some more pictures I took from my visit to the Metropolitan Museum of Art, where they have a lot of Claude Monet artworks. And if you look, I took a picture from a distance, and then I took a picture from up close. This really gives you a good view of how the images look from a distance, and then how they almost just look like paint splotches from up close. That's that textbook impressionist style. Our new lesson is going to be about painting water lilies and a Japanese bridge. For today, I want you to practice drawing your own water lilies and lily pads. You can even add a bridge too. This will be a practice week. Next week, I'll upload a video on how to start your Claude Monet inspired painting. Okay, everybody, until next week, bye-bye.